Global warming means Europe is facing more frequent and more intense heat waves. So what does that mean for your health? How hot is too hot? It's a complex issue, so let's try to make sense of it in the next two minutes. Anyone can get too hot and dehydrated, but the health risks depend on who you are, where you live and the time of year. Firstly, people with chronic health conditions like cardiorespiratory disease, kidney disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, mental illness and dementia need to be extra vigilant when the mercury rises. Very young children, pregnant women and people doing physical work outside are also at risk. Another factor is that your body actually acclimatises to the heat over the summer. So a heat wave in late spring is harder to manage than a heat wave in mid-August. Finally, there's where you're from. Someone who grew up in Rome or Athens is better adapted to deal with temperatures in the mid-30s than someone from Dublin or Helsinki. So it's all relative. Here's Italian heat and health expert Francesca Di Donato. So it's hard to, to identify a temperature by which we would say it's too hot or we should issue a warning. It's not universal, so there isn't a universal definition of a heat wave. There isn't a universal level of temperature which would be most at risk for the whole of Europe or worldwide. Where there is universal agreement is that humidity is a growing problem. As the atmosphere gets warmer, it can hold more water vapour. And when humidity and temperatures rise to a certain level, the body's ability to cool down by sweating just doesn't work anymore. Some places in the Persian Gulf, Pakistan, Mexico and Southeast Asia now pass this threshold sometimes. For example, if it's 38 degrees Celsius with 75% relative humidity, then it's hot enough to be potentially fatal for some people. According to scientists, as many as 3 billion people could be living in these kinds of conditions within 50 years. You can read more environmental news on euronews.com green and let us know your thoughts on our social media platforms.